Hello everybody, I am Lord Redfern and welcome back to my channel. It is officially 2022 and with the new year people make goals and ambitions for the year ahead. I myself, I'm no different. I have my own goals, I have my own ambitions of things that I wish to accomplish during this year. This year is going to be the turning point for me in terms of streaming and in terms of content creation. Yes, I have streamed in the past. Yes, I've made content for YouTube in the past, but it's never been consistent. It's been all over the place. And, you know, there's no schedule there for me. And uh, if I'm ever hoping to get noticed even a little bit, you need to have a bit of a schedule. You need to do it consistently. So without further ado, I have two points that I wish to talk to you about today. Streaming and content creation. My goals for 2022. Let's get into the video. So, in terms of streaming, I have five points that I wish to speak to you about today. Point number one is what am I going to be streaming and how often am I going to be streaming? In terms of how often I'm going to be streaming, I plan to stream three to four times a week. Now, unfortunately, it's not going to be on the same days every single week. My job has random shifts that change every single week, unfortunately. Uh, so I can't consistently say that I'm going to be able to stream on, let's say, a Monday and a Wednesday and a Friday every single week. What I do know is that I tend to have three to four days off each week because of what I do. Therefore, on those days off, I will be streaming and I will be doing content creation as well. But we'll talk about that later. So I won't be streaming on consistent days, but I will still stream three to four times a week consistently. In terms of what I'm going to be playing, I have three games that I currently love playing at this moment in time. They are my most played games at this moment in time, but that is subject to change. Game number one is Halo Infinite. Game number two is Battlefield 2042. And game number three is Destiny 2. Now, obviously, we're going to have to play this by ear and kind of see what happens with all of these games. Some games may get dropped for other games. It depends. In terms of Halo Infinite and Destiny 2, I don't see that being an issue. These, these two games have very, very bright futures, and I don't see these games going anywhere anytime soon. Battlefield, we're going to have to play that one by ear, especially, because that game is not doing very well at the moment, and DICE are really, really slacking in terms of support for that game. So that game might get dropped for something else in the future. Point number two is going to be games that I'm going to stream kind of on a one-off, really. Some games I really want to play through the campaign of them. And, you know, I've never played through the campaign of some of these games. But I really, really want to stream them instead of just kind of playing them by myself. So I get to experience it for the first time, you know, on stream. And that way, you know, you guys get to be there with me. Um, for an example, I've always wanted to play the Gears of War 5 campaign. I've played pretty much all of the Gears of Wars um, since the very first game. And I've always wanted to play the Gears of War 5 campaign. And now that I have Games Pass, I can now play Gears of War 5 and experience that story that I've always wanted to experience. So on one to two streams, depending on how long the campaign is, I'm going to be streaming the Gears of War 5 campaign. The next three points kind of fall under the Bethesda umbrella. I am a very, very big Bethesda fan, and therefore I tend to like streaming their games as well. So point number three is going to be a new game that I'm going to be streaming. I say new, it came out in 2006. It is, of course, Oblivion, The Elder Scrolls 4. <laughs> Now,
Now, I started playing Oblivion, obviously, back in 2006. It's the first Bethesda game that I ever played, and I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with Bethesda, and that's kind of where my story with Bethesda began. Um, I've not played Oblivion in a very, very long time, and I've always wanted to go back and play it. So I'm going to start streaming Obliv Oblivion um, as well. When I'm going to be streaming it, I'm not too sure yet. But I'm going to start, I'm going to add that to the queue of games that I'm going to be streaming. It won't be a modded playthrough because unfortunately Oblivion is an older game and modding it is significantly more difficult than modding Skyrim. And I have no wish to learn how to mod Oblivion either. So, without further ado, that game is being added to the queue. Oblivion, The Elder Scrolls 4 will be streamed on my channel. Point number five is to stream Skyrim, but unfortunately my Skyrim is not currently up to date. Since I last streamed Skyrim, which has been a while ago, Skyrim of course had its big anniversary update. And with that, all of my mods became out of, uh, you know, we're no longer up to date. And um, a lot of things that require my mods to work, like the Skyrim script extender, also became out of date. So I've got to spend some time to get all of my mods up to date, get things like the Skyrim script extender up to date, and just get my Skyrim kind of working again. Once my Skyrim is working again, I will be able to, of course, stream Skyrim again, which I'm really, really looking forward to. And my last point is going to be Fallout 4. It is another game of Bethesda's that I am going to be adding to the queue of games I'm going to be streaming. However, I am not going to be streaming Fallout 4 immediately, and there is a very, very good reason for that that I'm going to discuss in terms of content creation in the next part. So, part two, let's talk about my goals for content creation in 2022. I have seven points that I want to speak to you about today, so let's get started. Point number one is going to be my Skyrim book series. For anybody who has ever played a Bethesda game, especially Skyrim and Oblivion, you will know that there are a lot of books inside of these games that the developers have added into the game. These books could be generic random tales, or they could add to the lore, or they could be explanatory books. They're all over the place, really, in terms of what they are and what they do and what they talk about. But I've always wanted to make a series where I read the contents of each of these books on video. I've been told that I've got a pretty good narration voice. Obviously, I am English. And just like how Bife does his Destiny 2 videos, that is my goal for Skyrim. So I'm going to be starting a series where I begin reading each of the books inside of Skyrim's world in a kind of lore-based narration way kind of like an audio book so to speak point number two is once my skyrim is finally fixed i'm going to continue and consistently make videos on the armors that i download in my skyrim now i'll admit quite a few of the armors in my game can tend you know tend to be quite revealing uh, but I'll try to keep it, you know, somewhat PG if I can help it. If an armor is too revealing, then I'm obviously not going to show that on video. Uh, and if I do, I would probably obviously just blur slash put big black bars across my character's body. And I would simply say that if you wanted to view this video off of YouTube uh, without censorship, I would probably put that somewhere like maybe Patreon, for example, where you can view it without YouTube demonetizing me. And getting me in trouble <laughs> point number three is fallout 4 now i said that i'm going to start streaming fallout 4 but it wouldn't be immediately and this is the reason why i'm going to be modding my fallout 4 again as i love what modded fallout 4 looks like and i end up having about three to four hundred mods in my fallout but i came up with a bit of an idea i thought why not take you guys on a journey along with me as i mod my game so, each week, I'm going to be releasing a video on YouTube where I showcase five mods from my mod load order. Once this series is complete, my game will be fully modded, and that is when I'm going to commence streaming Fallout 4. Now, what these videos are going to kind of, you know, have inside of them, basically, it's going to be four mods that tend to showcase, I don't know, something like a texture rework, um, a new asset like trees, grass, new weapons, new or, or you know kind of new locations or new building um, structures inside of the game, and then a mod. The final on the fifth mod 
of the video each week will be a armor mod of some description. There are a lot of talented armor mod creators and clothing mod creators in the Fallout 4 space and I really really love some of their work and there are so many of them that I will consistently put out a armor mod review in each of these videos that I will release each week. So it's going to be four mods revolving around textures and new assets and then the final mod of each video will be a armor mod as well so each week a fallout 4 five mods video and we're going to keep doing that until my fallout is fully modded and that is when streaming will commence point number four is destiny 2 videos these videos are going to kind of revolve around um videos where i kind of talk about builds that i have invented or builds that other content creators have invented and i'm going to be trying them out um obviously in game or it's going to be a video where i kind of you know focus on one specific weapon in the game and use that in pvp as well a lot of content creators do these level of videos and i kind of wanted to jump on that hype train as well um so destiny 2 build videos and destiny 2 kind of weapon focused pvp videos as well Point number five is kind of the kind of usual clips and um, moments that you can expect from me. While I'm gaming, I do have Shadowplay running in the background constantly, and I'm always clipping my games that I'm playing. And it could be a funny moment or an exciting moment, or it could be something that, you know, takes my breath away in game, like a reaction of some sort. It could be anything. These kind of clips, I have started to, you know, consistently start to spread them across all of my platforms that i am on for the majority of the time i've always put these clips up on my instagram my gaming instagram uh but now i'm going to start consistently putting these up on my facebook page and on youtube as well so you know you can always find the clips that i capture in game on youtube as well Second to last point is going to be kind of extra random videos. Now these videos don't really have a title. These are videos that kind of just pop up every now and then in my mind and I think that would make a really, really good video. I like that idea and I want to make a video about that. For example, I'm going to be recording a video about Destiny 2 vault management in terms of, you know, getting people ready for the Witch Queen. Um, I've seen a few people being putting, you know, putting out videos about how to kind of manage your vault, clean your vault. Their videos are good, but their videos are very, very long and they tend to come from a very, you know, big content creator streamer point of view. So those videos are always like, you know, keep five of each weapon and stuff like that. And these people's vaults are always, you know, maxed out 500 out of 500. I quite like the way I manage my vault and I quite like my mentality when it comes to how I manage weapons and armor instead of Destiny 2. So I'm going to be making a video, for example, on how to get your vault ready or how at least I manage my vault inside of Destiny 2. And finally, a little snippet is social media. I am on pretty much all platforms of social media, um, so to speak. I have been on Instagram for the longest time. That is where you can find all in-game screenshots, photos, and, you know, the clips that I have talked about earlier, the little clips and moments that I have in each game. I have recently opened up a TikTok as well, where I'm going to start putting up little videos, clips, moments, and moments of triumph and stuff like that on TikTok. Clips, of course, like I've said, are also going to end up on YouTube as well, and they're also going to end up on my Facebook page as well. I also do have a Twitter which is where I'm going to be posting stream schedules as well. So, like I said, my streaming schedule is not going to be very consistent, but you can always find the days that I'm going to be streaming on Twitter. That is where I'm going to be posting my streaming schedule every single week. And that's it. That is the video completed. Thank you everyone for joining me. Those are my goals for 2022. Streaming and content creation. There's a lot to unpack there uh, and there's a lot to get through. It sounds like a lot really, but a lot of this stuff I'm kind of already doing, already doing in the background. Um, and it's just about continuing to do those things as well. Kind of the big things, of course, are streaming consistently each week, three to four times a week. And of course, really knuckling down and getting some of these YouTube series started as well. So 
next week is when all of this is going to hopefully kick off that or the week after i am still recovering it off of covid that i had over the new years unfortunately uh, and that delayed me making this video and also delayed my plans for getting all of these videos and streaming kind of style videos started as well so i'm still recovering and i'm still a little bit ill even though i no longer have covid i've just got some kind of side effects of having had covid unfortunately but thank you all for joining me. I'm really, really excited for 2022. And uh, I really, really hope that you'll join me for the ride. And uh, let's make this year absolutely awesome in terms of content. Thank you very much. I am Lord Redfern, and I will see you in the next video.